We call it the Stradivarius of robots. It is the most expressive robot in the world today. Robots are the way of the future. But does that mean that humans will eventually be a relic of the past? With all of these new advancements in technology, soon we might be the ones outdated. Should I be afraid of you? Have you seen my Instagram? I'm just plain cute. <laughs> From a fully bionic man to a completely automated bartender with dad jokes, here are 20 robots that compete with humans. <laughs> The robot with a heart. Better step aside, Alexa. There's another robot gunning for your job. You could say that humanity has only gotten used to AI assistants like Alexa and Siri, but are we ready for a full-fledged robot help desk? Unfortunately, the current answer might be no, or at least not yet. Pepper the robot was built to be just over four feet tall, or roughly over a meter, with 25 degrees of freedom and a dream to be the first robot with a heart. It was manufactured by SoftBank Robotics and designed to be able to read the emotions of its users. The original revealing of Pepper was so impressive that the SoftBank mobile phone stores in Japan began showcasing the robot the very next day. But after not really striking any demand from the general public, production on this friendly helper robot came to a screeching halt. Under the direction of Chief Executive Masayoshi Sun at SoftBank, the goal was to build a series of helpful robotic aids to serve customers and babysit kids. Pepper was the first in line back in 2014 and quickly became the face of the company, almost like a mascot. But culture clashes between development, production, and manufacturing held across multiple countries around the world ultimately hindered the machine's functionality and unreliability, and sales were the most directly impacted. In total, only 27,000 Pepper robots were produced before the project came to an end. Maybe one day the world will be ready for Pepper the Robot, but sources currently say that restarting production would just be too costly. Guess your job is safe for now, Alexa. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. This picture may look like a man being prepped for something important, but what if we told you this isn't a man at all? It's not even a real human. Despite his complexion, wrinkles, and facial hair, this humanoid is apparently a full-fledged robot, or specifically a Geminoid, based off of Professor Henrik Schaffer. Officially titled Geminoid DK, he's the face of the new robot race asking the question, if it looks like a human, acts like a human, and talks like a human, how will we know it's a robot? The Geminoid robots have five levels of consciousness, sleeping, online, idle, lip synchronization, and face synchronization. The different stages give the robotic creature a human-like presence unlike any other machine that only increases as it develops. These Geminoids will artificially sleep, fidget, and blink like they have an actual physical need to do so, even going as far as raising their shoulders with each robotic breath. Geminoid DK will awaken from its slumber with a jerk and sit up as it begins to open its eyes. There are still a few issues here and there that prevent a Geminoid from being mistaken for a true human, but did it fool you? If you could add any improvements to this model, what would you change? Comment below using hashtag missing topic and share what you think. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The One Million Dollar Bionic Man We finally have the technology to build a better, stronger, faster man. But unlike the Six Million Dollar Man from the 1970s TV show, this bionic man won't be going on any high-stakes adventures for a while. This robot is simply named the Bionic Man and was built entirely from bionic or artificial parts with implantable synthetic organs. It even has a functioning circulatory system to simulate a real one. Despite its appearance, this bionic man is technically as close to a real human as we've ever come, a true testament to some of the most leading laboratory researchers across the world. Parts for the man machine have come from over 17 countries where they were all crafted to eventually be put together for its first reveal in the United States at New York City Comic Con, to be exact. According to Richard Walker, the managing director of Shadow Robot Company and the lead roboticist on the project, the Bionic Man is an attempt to showcase just how far medical science has gotten. He also says that the robot is 60 to 70 percent capable of functioning like a real human, from having a fully working kidney to its cochlear and retina implants that can simulate vision. It stands at six and a half feet tall, or around 1.85 meters, and has the ability to step, 
sit, or stand as long as it has the help of a Rex walking machine. Its artificial heart also works like a real one, beating and pumping artificial blood that carries oxygen like a true human. Sources say that it's only worth a million dollars in parts so far, so maybe once the other five million dollars are added, we can finally create the Bionic Man from the TV show. C-Spot Charge This next robot may not be trying to take the job of us humans, but it could be aiming for man's best friend. Spot the Robot Dog is an impressive mobile machine built by the famed robotics company Boston Dynamics. It doesn't have all the functions of a real dog, but it can run, scout, observe, and record all sorts of things that make typical boring work into something exciting and fun, or at least speeds up the boring parts so you don't have to do them. It's built capable of holding 14 kilograms or 30 pounds worth of inspection equipment and can be controlled by a remote control tablet so you can stay where you are while Spot does all the legwork. Its best function seems to be able to do the same task over and over and over again without getting tired or complaining. Spot comes in different versions, sizes, and with slightly specialized functions, similar to modern-day drones. But instead of scanning the air, Spot is a fast and fun way to scan the land. But if you ask us, Spot doesn't seem quite ready to take on the job of man's best friend just yet. For starters, it's not furry or fuzzy or very cuddly, and it won't lick leftovers off the floor. But for researchers out in the field, it must be a true lifesaver. At least several hundred spots have been sold, so hopefully they've been taken into a good home. Romeo for the Elderly Wherefore art thou Romeo? This one is still stuck inside a lab. Robot Romeo is the big brother to the French humanoid Neo and a big step in furthering assistance for the elderly and disabled. They both came from the Paris-based company Aldebaran Robotics and are meant to collect food, toss out garbage, and generally provide quality companionship for those in need while keeping track of their progressing health. Project Romeo started off in 2009 with a budget of 10 million euros, half of which was officially sponsored by the French government. It has 37 degrees of freedom, which is a type of independent movement in a 3D space, essentially meaning that Romeo can move around slightly more than someone doing the robot dance. It also has an advanced type of actuator called a back drivable mechanism that uses motors with screws and cables instead of reduction gears to power the joints. What that means is that this newly established mechanism senses force being applied on the robot's limbs and can move them more safely as a result. Even more impressive, it also has the ability to read expressions and find ways to properly communicate just by looking at someone's face. The words it chooses all vary based on what Romeo thinks the human is feeling. But the real question is, do you think it could make a good poker player? As time marches on, robots like Romeo seem to be getting better at communication and interactions with humans, so who knows what jobs they'll be doing beside us soon enough. The Flight of the Valkyries it looks like superheroes might become a reality in our world, or at least until we send them to Mars. This robot is designed by NASA and officially called R5, but also answers to Valkyrie from Norse mythology. She was originally designed several years ago with a robotic disaster relief contest in mind, but the goal changed when they realized the potential for interplanetary labor. There are currently four sister robots fully built as electric humanoids modeled after the Robonaut 2. These versions have improved electronics, actuators, and sensing capabilities that are a step above their predecessor. And given all of these strong physical traits, they have each been assigned to the project of colonizing Mars, a feat considered way too dangerous for us weak and fragile humans. The plan is to send them all out on their own, without any need for human supervision, but so far they haven't been proven ready just yet. In the meantime, these superhuman robots are stuck on Earth to prepare their skills for when they won't need a regular human backup. One particular robot, nicknamed Val, is still in the process of harmonizing her 28 torque control joints and a couple hundred sensors, so it might take a while to it. While the robots were originally designed and built by the engineering directorate at the Johnson Space Center, they've been split up for further tests and programming by other experts. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, has taken in two Valkyries while the University of Edinburgh in Scotland is working on the other two. Hopefully, they'll make us a training montage video to see how far they can really grow. The Robot Brothers It sure would be nice to have an extra helping hand around when you need it. Well, Sawyer has answered your prayers and is here to help. 
Sawyer is the smaller, lighter version of Baxter, a 2011 robot built by Rethink's Robotics to be the ultimate helper. While Baxter mostly picked up your scattered items just to put them back into a box, Sawyer can do so much more, as long as more also includes picking things up and putting them in boxes. But Sawyer is designed with a higher precision hand that's capable of significant agility and flexibility that has to be seen to be believed. If you're a true fan of Rethink's Robotics, you can combine the power of both robots to work together. For example, Sawyer can place a screw into a hole, while Baxter boxes the whole thing up. Their true purpose lies in the ability to handle an estimated 90% of manufacturing tasks that current automations simply aren't suited for. Imagine all that human labor without the need for humans. That's not to say that humans will be written out of the workforce, but if a person can demonstrate to Sawyer how to properly move and swing their arm for a difficult job, Sawyer will quickly learn and adapt to the task. Just one Sawyer robot will cost you around $29,000, but it is sold with huge commercial projects in mind. So unless you plan on running your own assembly job company, these robots may not be the most productive purchase. Digit the Deliverer there should probably be a limit to how human-like a humanoid robot can be, but maybe that limit should also include a head. Digit doesn't seem to mind, though, and is designed to move more dynamically than other robots are capable of, with or without a proper top. It was revealed in early 2020 by Agility Robotics to begin sales of Digit robot couriers to make delivery simpler. The company started out the early phase with only six copies of the robot and was able to expand over the course of the year. Digit is a classical construction type of robot, an android with two legs, two hands, and a torso. As a courier bot, it was shown in 2019 to be fully capable of transferring boxes, tracing obstacles in its path, and finding routes to avoid them. A similar design by Agility Robotics, the Cassie robot, was also built to function similarly and move the same on two legs like a person. Between the two robots and their impressive feats, Ford announced a collaboration that they would be using the machines to display autonomous deliveries to a new level. Funny enough, the most complicated issue to solve was the final stage of delivery, removing the package from the robot and transferring it to the customer's door. Ford worked with the team to solve this problem and ultimately made a better, more functional electric courier. Digit is capable of lifting over 18 kilograms, or roughly 40 pounds of weight, while also overcoming ladders, traveling over cross-country terrain, and even holding its balance after a collision with a car. Hopefully their routine travels won't require so many obstacles, but it is comforting to know what it's capable of. The next step for Robokind. The uncanny valley is a term for when something looks real, but not exactly right or normal. There's something close to what a human should be and look like, but there's also something very uncanny that stops us from thinking it might actually be a real person. The Hanson Robotics' most advanced creation, named Sophia, straddles the line between lifelike and uncanny. She was built by former Disney Imagineer David Hanson to personify our dreams for the future of artificial intelligence, using a combination of engineering, science, and a bit of artistry. Just check out some of her sleek outfits. It might be a bit hard to tell, but she was modeled after Audrey Hepburn. Do you see the resemblance? She also has a bit of Queen Nefertiti and the inventor's wife, Amanda Hansen, in her design. Sophia is supposed to be the world's first robot citizen and an ambassador to the United Nations, but we might still be way off before she begins to make some actual diplomatic changes to the world. She was the first robot woman to become a full citizen of Saudi Arabia, which is a step in a new direction but where will this path lead us? Only time will tell. Barney at the bar. And now for a truly useful robot, the kind that serves you drinks at a bar. Given the subtle name of Barney, this machine is a fully automated Swiss bartender that mixes all sorts of cocktails and even makes small talk while you wait. Whether or not you can sit through some of its terrible jokes is another matter altogether. The creators of Barney, developer F&P Robotics, claim there is a driving interest in the Barney bar and hopes to see more Barneys in hotels, shopping centers, and other bars soon. Barney currently knows how to mix 16 different spirits with 8 versions of soda for customers that exclusively place their orders through their phones. Barney has disinfectant that it can apply to its own arm in order to stay hygienic during spills or any accidents and will instruct customers when their drinks are ready through a screen display above its head. 
There have also been development towards a coffee-making barista robot that will likely sweep through the nation once the technology has been perfected. Each model is a bit on the pricey side, around $130,719, but there's still hope for these servers to make a worldwide debut. They'll just have to lower their wages just a bit. A little robot guy. Try not to freak out over our next robot discussion, but this is Leonardo, a two and a half foot social robot created by the Personal Robots Group of MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The body that you're looking at comes from the Stan Winston Studios, one of the modern leaders in animatronics. You do have to admit it moves and expresses itself fairly well, like an actual animated creature, but it kind of looks like a gremlin. The body was originally finished back in 2002 and was by far the most advanced attempt at any complex robot ever attempted back in 2001. Multiple resources back the development of the machine creature from NASA to Toyota, the Navy Research Lab, and Nevin Vision Incorporated. Leonardo was given a visual tracking system based on infant psychology with the hope of improving human-robot collaboration. They say it's easier to raise an infant than to teach an old dog new tricks after all. Leonardo was probably one of the foundations for growing and developing artificial intelligence and more modern machines, especially the personal helpers that grow as they observe. You may not be seeing Leonardo out on the toy shelves or in too many households, but we can say that it's definitely had an influencing impact on the world of robotics. The future of today, a mecha. At least this humanoid robot has a head, so that seems like progress. A mecha claims to be one of the world's most advanced human-shaped robots at the forefront of human robotics technology. It's a bit hard to compare when most of her body seems to be grayscale and nude, but she does look more human than a lot of other creations we've seen so far. She was designed by Engineered Arts, one of the leading designers of entertainment robots, specifically to be a platform for development and robotic technologies, rather than leading the future herself. Her artificial intelligence is connected to the digital cloud that can learn new systems and develop at a faster rate than other robot designs of the time. This type of operating system is ideal in helping out breaking research and finding new paths for the future of robots, making a mecha both a valuable tool and an important development in the robotic path towards the future. For other companies trying to make their own AI, they can use a mecha to test their own technology in front of a live audience and even get strong feedback to influence their future decisions. Among her many developmental functions, a mecha can also blink regularly, gasp in surprise, hold a staring contest where she'll probably let you win every once in a while, and even scratch her own nose. She doesn't have a true need for any of these functions, but it does give her a more relatable feel that helps us let our guard down around her. Hopefully, she only uses these abilities for good, though or we might have a new uprising on our hands. The playful Luna. Maybe it's all in the eyes, but this little Luna seems more friendly than a Roomba. This small, expressive robot started off as a Kickstarter funding project meant as a successor to a similar but less functional machine called Anki. It quickly surpassed the small goal of $20,000 and currently stands at just over three millions on the Kickstarter's website. It seems like the reputation of the company really boosted its goals. Luna is described on the page as the world's most intelligent pet bot that's so playful and affectionate you'll forget she's a robot. That might be a bit hard to believe at a glance, but Luna does seem to emote and show energy unlike any computer we've ever dealt with. Despite its size, the robot pet is covered in sensors that affect its facial expressions but can also influence its movements, gestures, voice, and emotional recognition. Also, like a Roomba, it has edge awareness, so it won't fly off of a table or tumble down the stairs if the chance ever pops up. If you were lucky enough to back Luna while it was still in the Kickstarter phase, you could score one today for just under 300 bucks. But if you're going at retail pricing, you'll probably have to pay the asking price of $449. Hopefully, it's a small price to pay for the ultimate pet. The Little Robot Dancer from dancing Santa to the singing flopping fish on a wall, people love robots that dance. The Eilic robot from Energize Labs is designed to blow those classic toys out of the water and revolutionize companionship in a way like no other. It's a small robotic toy that fits inside your hand and is meant to be a companion bot with endless fun. One of Eilic's key features is its ability to show off different emotions with an electric screen and fully functional digital face. 
It works off of four basic emotions, neutral, angry, happy, and sad. But from there, it can access a whole range of expressions. The pocket-sized machine is fully capable of talking, crying, laughing, and imitating people while using funny voices. You probably don't want to get on its bad side. You can interact with Eilic through the many touch sensors on its head, back, and belly, as well as a menu of options that appear on its OLED face screen. If you set it to function while listening to music, the little guy will put out his best moves and maybe even take you down in a dance-off. It uses a form of artificial intelligence to build its own personality that grows as you play and interact with it. And if you get two, they'll interact with each other. They mostly just do play fights or games with one another, but maybe they'll grow into actual siblings if enough time passes. It feels like we're only getting closer to a family of Robo Sapiens. The cat you never knew you needed. Whoever thought that we needed a robot cat was probably playing a cruel joke on the tech world. Mars Cat was definitely among the cutest robot companions displayed at the CES Tech Show in 2020. Probably because everyone loves cute cats. But a real cat doesn't listen, takes what it wants, and demands constant attention on its own terms. Can Mars Cat succeed where true cats have left us wanting more? For starters, this feline machine is a fully autonomous companion pet that responds to touch and sound like a real cat and even plays with certain toys that it comes with. At a first glance, most people quickly fell in love with the robotic feline. It was brought to the world by Elephant Robotics, a company known for designing cobots or collaborative robots that function on their own but still rely on human contact. The Mars Cat is their first consumer product designed purely for home use rather than in a lab or a factory. It has highly articulated limbs from its legs to its tails and head. It can function by sitting up, walking around, and watching your movements without any type of human input. The real beauty, of course, is that it doesn't have any of that pesky cat hair that so many people are allergic to. But the real question is whether it listens to you or will it simply walk to the nearest table and push over a glass of water? Only then will we know the true superior species between cat and robo-cat. The cutest Japanese dog. We're going to take one step back from robotic cats and take another look at a different type of robotic dog, this time named Aibo, the perfect companion. This breed of robotic machine came from Sony Global Manufacturing and has brought out a lot of fans for the mechanical pup. Aibo is designed to be a cute companion toy that grows a unique personality the longer it's played. It also comes with a series of reactions to everyday interactions as well as a variety of robotic dog accessories. Among its different toys are a pink ball for playing with and small doggy bowls for digital doggy food. Of course, it actually runs on batteries, so it needs a charger as opposed to food, but the cinnamon is there, so you feel like a true owner of a real dog. The charger is also provided out of the box so you don't have to worry about it Ibo dying on you too unexpectedly. But Ibo's real specialty has been pleasing Japanese goers in the city where it came from. It's an especially popular hit in Japanese cafes for people who love cute animals but would rather play with a toy than a living creature. Aibo has gotten so popular with Japanese fans that many take their own pet Aibos to the manufacturing company in Kota, where they're thought of as being born, just to get a commemoration picture. It's actually become a bit of a problem for the workers at the company to the point that they had to request an additional fan site from the municipal government for fans to gather. And that's how the Hummingbird Cafe came to the latest Aibo hotspot. The Tentacle Gripper Sure, we get it. Taking on the challenge of building a fully functional human-like robot is a steep task that not everyone is cut out for. But that's also probably why there's no shortage of limbs and artificial hands that keep getting more impressive. In this case, it seems to be more tentacle-like than a regular human limb. But our point still stands. The Octopus Gripper is a type of bionic hand that was created by the German robotics company Festo, and as its name implies, it was inspired by the limbs of an octopus. Specifically its gripping style, which has proven to be both complex and useful, the Octopus Gripper is fully functional and capable as an arm that's able to pick up, hold, and put down a variety of different items through a combination of suckers and air suction. Its gripper is mostly made from silicone that bends inwards towards air compression while gripping around whatever it can in a gentle and easy manner. In order to show its skills at gripping, the company demonstrated the gripper picking up a metal tube, holding a magazine, grabbing a ball, and even pouring a glass of water from a bottle. 
Sure, they might be easy tasks for you and me, but we also have fully functioning bodies to help us. It sure would be harder if we had a single tentacle limb to do everything. So does that mean that the next step in production would be to resemble the rest of the octopus? Or maybe just adding an extra limb for support? If two hands are better than one, eight should be more than enough to get a grip on whatever you need. Behold the Batbot. It makes sense that engineers would copy animals for their machines. Who better to study for proper functions than Mother Nature herself? But do we really need to have a Batbot? These robot designers definitely thought so, so they went ahead and built one. It turns out that these bat wings are extremely complex and their design has eluded many researchers for ages. The technological challenges of making something fly in multiple directions without feathers or engines seems like a statistical impossibility. Yet, if bats can do it, why can't we? But it seems like BatBot has successfully overcome most of the challenges by being among the first self-contained robotic bat with soft articulated artificial wings that can actually fly like an advanced drone. It was developed by researchers at Caltech and the University of Illinois to build safer and more efficient ways of getting robots airborne. It was also a great in-depth study of how bat wings work in real time, which is helpful for biologists and engineering research. The bat bot weighs a light 93 grams and is clearly shaped like a real bat with only a one foot long wingspan. Its wings can change their shape by flexing, extending, and twisting the way a real flying bat would while using its other limbs as a way to fully pivot the joints that let the wings move around. They say in nature that bats have the most sophisticated mechanism behind their power of flight, especially compared to any other flying animal like birds or even the occasional squirrel. The bat bot needed a mechanism that involved a combination of interlocking joints, bones, and muscles through a musculoskeletal system that can freely move with over 40 rotational directions. Nothing too complex, right? But since the bat bot is now airborne, what's next for flying robots? The most advanced salamander. From the sky to the ground and back again, it seems we have looped back to another animal robot that's less airborne and much more grounded. The Plurobot is an amazing recreation of a realistic-looking salamander, as long as you don't mind the lack of skin or muscles, and it was developed by the folks at EPFL, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. This is designed to provide torque control for all of its active joints, to function both on land and in the water like a real salamander would. It even has a bit of a talking voice, which might not be true to nature, but definitely adds a more interesting twist. It may be a while before this robot lizard starts to look like an actual salamander and less like a skeleton of one, but according to the experts, Plurobot is one of the most accurate animal-to-robot designs yet. Many have claimed that the research behind this salamander technology could lead to breakthroughs of understanding both animal evolutions and spinal therapy. The way the salamander moves could teach us a lot about the strengths and weaknesses of a human spine with some modifications. It looks like there's a lot of hope riding on the functions of this little guy. They say that building a robot to look like an animal is simple enough. It's almost like a 3D sketch or a physical blueprint. But to get a machine that acts, moves, and even behaves like the natural predecessor it is based on, well, scientists and engineers have proven that it's incredibly difficult, but far from impossible. A fluffy metal companion. We've seen all sorts of robotic dogs and many of them were cute metallic companions. But did any of them actually look and feel like a real dog? Jenny is here to fix that problem by providing companionship for all the unfortunate people who can't give animals the care they really need. Jenny is a fully engineered golden Labrador retriever dog that was built to help therapy patients, specifically senior citizens, patients diagnosed with dementia, and animal lovers in general who cannot take care of a real pet for whatever reason. If you have allergies or a disability, or maybe you just go on vacation a lot, Jenny seems like the right fit for you. But looking at the robotic dog, you could say that Jenny looks a bit like an animatronic from a theme park instead of a fully functional machine, but would that make her more or less mechanically sophisticated? Jenny was designed and revealed by TomBot Puppy CEO, Tom Stevens, who wanted to give a proper replacement to his mother's dog, she tragically had to give up her best friend against her wishes. You see, she couldn't understand because of Alzheimer's disease. Jenny seems to do a decent job fulfilling her replacement, though. She acts like a real dog does by wagging her tail, letting out barks, and even responding to touch, 
and pets the way a real dog would, Jenny has being a dog down to even showing unconditional love to whoever owns her. It may not be the wisecracking, music-playing, photo-taking robot of the future, but it could be the next big breakthrough in robotic pet and animal therapy. That definitely counts for something in our book, Emo, the Emotional Pet. Our last topic of the day is the type of robot you might be familiar with if you ever carried around a digital pet in the 90s. For people familiar with Tamagotchis, Digimon, or just virtual pets in general, this next handheld robot will seem like the next step among helper AI companions. Emo claims to be the coolest AI desktop companion on the market, and it even comes with a rad little skateboard piece to stand on. Despite its lack of arms, it has multiple sensors and cutting-edge technology that allows it to react with more than 1,000 different facial expressions for nearly every occasion. Despite its name, Emo can cheer up its owner with music, dances, and online games to keep people busy or at least distracted while they stay at their desk. Emo is also a functional helper, similar to Alexa, in that it can wake you up, control your house lights, take pictures, and even respond to questions. Unlike most of the other robots we've encountered, Emo grows through its curiosity on its own and will walk around to try and find new things to learn. It moves around freely, tracks different sounds, and recognizes up to 10 different people, all without ever falling off your desk. It can even make its own decisions that it bases off of a developing personality as it evolves from its surrounding environment. All in all, it looks like Emo is the kind of emotional robot that anyone could use as their desktop companion. Hopefully, you aren't looking to be a pet anytime soon because it looks like robots will be dominating that field of the future. Hopefully, Fido won't be replaced, though. If anything, it looks like robots will be able to serve our better needs without having to deal with the struggles of hiring, training, or even paying human workers. But only time will tell how that will work out. <laughs>